Yo yo yo, what's going on guys? It is your bad bad place right back at you with another video of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So let's continue where we left off. And this is the final countdown. I do not know if this is like the last part of the game or not. So let's you know let's let's <laughs> let's see whether it is or not. And let's get to it. Hudson's always been the guy's bitch for half long, man. Black Ops 1 to now, you can see Hudson from that. But I haven't seen Reef for a while already, though. Where is this, guys? We're definitely right here, man. Alright, here. What the hell? How can he hit that? Got you, man. Got you, man. I fucked up, I fucked up. Oh my god. Good night. Let's get it. Got that. Watch it. Heavy MG on the ridge. All right. All right. Got that. Start your bombing run. Copy that. Get your team out of there, Adler. Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last AA gun. Where is that up. guy? All right. We got that. We got that. No. No, 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 no. Where's the? No, we got a grenade. Oh my god. Yes, we have to use the full auto on this video. 
there will be another day, bro. Damn, son. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah, after capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shooter. Maybe someday Perseus can join him. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision at your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal.
Damn. The game is done. Okay. I mean... <sighs> oh, man. I don't, I, I don't know what to feel about the ending, but I feel like both of them are almost the same. Um, I have yet to get the other ending out. So, yeah. Mm, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for really following me through the whole entire Call of Duty series. Uh, and I guess I'll be, you know, doing the... What was that? Let me just fast forward this to skip the ending. I mean, that's to me, it's a very short story coming from Call of Duty itself. So all I can say is this game is... I, get, I rated the, the story 7 to 8 out of 10. Because it's a very short story to me. I don't feel like it's, it's a very long story. I feel like it's a very short story. Certain things that we're supposed to do. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, I guess that's the ending for Call of Duty. Uh, Cold War. So anyway, guys, I'll be just letting you know I'll be posting up Cyberpunk uh, gameplay as well once it releases in like 10th of December in a few days' time for me as well. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the series. So I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much.